Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing another roller coaster. This is Batwing at Six Flags America, which is a Vacoma Flying Dutchman. And I'm going to give my overall thoughts on it. Let's start with the statistics first. This coaster has a height of 115 feet, speed of 50 miles per hour, is manufactured by Vacoma, opened on June 16, 2001, has five inversions, has a duration of 2 minutes, 2 seconds, and has a total G force of 4.3. So. Nighthawks, sorry, Batwing statistics are pretty good. Now, if you're wondering why I said Nighthawk by accident, it's because this coaster is very similar to another Vacoma flying coaster I've ridden, the Nighthawk, which is at Carowinds. And we're going to start off in saying, I was not impressed with Nighthawk. However, I was very impressed with Batwing, which, I've, I, which I heard that's a lot, what a lot of people think about the way they're comparing these two coasters. And this ride is very similar to Firehawk and Kings Island, which I have not yet ridden that, so... I don't know what that ride's like, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be like the same as Batwing, except without the Batman theming. But yeah, unlike Nighthawk, I found Batwing to be very smooth for Vacoma, and I found it to be very forceful for Vacoma. Like, honestly, Nighthawk was not that intense, probably just because of how shaky it was. This, on the other hand, other hand I could just feel the G-Force like throughout the almost the entire ride, which that impressed me very much. Like, honestly, this is an underrated roller coaster, I have to say. Would I, th would I take this over Batman the Ride? Probably not. I think Batman the Ride's better. Probably just because that's a B&M, but man, this is fun. And unlike Nighthawk, this has n does not have a single bad element. Every element on, on this ride is amazing. If you remember my thoughts on Nighthawk's corkscrews, I said those two were probably the worst inversions I've ever experienced. Instead, on this one, you're just twisting, but really, it's it's not rough. Like, this, the overall ride is very smooth and just intense. Nighthawk was just so rough. But with Batwing, but, I mean, I have to say, Batwing's definitely my favorite Vacoma that I've ridden at the moment. Now, if there is a con to this ride, is that the operations suck, but that's basically all, all there is with Batwing, but that's just because of the restraints and all, so it doesn't. So it's not really anything to complain about too much, but because they want to make sure they're safe. But I mean, it's in Six Flags America for frick's sake. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's move on to the actual ride itself. So and so you walk up and you're walking by. Now, first off, I had no clue where the entrance was to this ride. I literally had no idea. I could not find the entrance to Batwing. However, luckily though, I found it. So I got to go through the entrance. And of course, you, if you know with me, so I get into restraints. But the weird thing is with Batwing and Nighthawk and Firehawk, which I have not read Firehawk, but yeah, Batwing, blah, blah, blah. So unlike this, unlike a b &M flyer, this one has you start off laying down. I, ra I prefer it when it's like, like when you're going to have flying position on the b &M flyers. Which, yeah, um, which, I mean, it's not bad at all. I actually really like it, but I just prefer it on the BM flies because you have the more of the flying feel. So you go up lift till 115 feet in the air, and then you make it into this twisting dive, which you know about that. And this drops a bit better. It's not really much of a difference. It's just because it's a lot smoother. And then you go through the overbank, which is very forceful. <laughs> Unlike Nighthawk, Nighthawk wasn't even that intense. But, and then all of a sudden you go through another turn, and then of course you go through a vertical loop. Sorry about that whole, uh, like, mess up real quick, yeah. So you go through a vertical loop, which this is very forceful, I love the vertical loops on the Koa Flyers. Even Nighthawk's vertical loop is decently intense. So then afterwards you go through another turn, and then you end off the ride, we go through um, another turn instead of like a tilt turn like you saw on the drop from that, or like, yeah, blah blah blah. So instead of that you go through, um, to um, twist and then a helix. <laughs> we just pulled off a cedar fair right there. And so you go through a helix, which I, had, I it felt like Manta basically. I felt I was trying to gray out during this helix, which was neat. And then you make a little twist and you enter the brake run and you start going into the station. And that concludes the Batwing experience. So overall, what do I think of Batwing? I think it's a very amazing Vacoma flying coaster. Like, my favorite Vacoma I've ridden at the moment. Um, 
Is it better than the B and M flyers? Now that's a good question. No, it is not better than the B and M flyers. I definitely prefer Superman Ultimate Flight and Manta over Batwing. However, Batwing's way better than Nighthawk by far. So overall, what am I giving Batwing? Batwing at Six Flags America will be receiving an eight out of ten, which I think it's a very reasonable score for Batwing. Now, I mean, there's some stuff that Nighthawk's that has that's better than Batwings, but that's like the setting because Nighthawk you're over water, but this you're just off field. So yeah, but however, that that does not take away from it. But blah blah blah. Okay, so. With, so I'm giving Nighthawk, sorry, Batwing an 8 out of 10. <laughs> so I'm giving Batwing an 8 out of 10 because it is a very enjoyable ride. It, I, re I was really surprised by Batwing. I thought it to be very enjoyable. Even, even I rode in the front. If I ever go back to Six Flags America, I'd definitely ride this again. So yeah, that's all. those are all my overall thoughts on Batwing at Six Flags America. What do you think of this flying coaster? I want to know. I'll have the social media link up in the description. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you all next time. Have a beantacular day.